All right, you guys, so earlier we diagnosed this blower motor to be bad. I checked it for positive in ground and it was getting it. And I jumped the blower motor directly and it still did not work. So now it's time to replace it. I've already got it a little bit loose, but there's these three five and a half millimeter bolts. Get them loose. Once they're loose, this blower motor fan just falls right out of there. There's the plug. Unplug the plug. Now, this is the new one. I'm putting it back in. This only goes one way. You gotta line, line up the pins in, in with those circles. Kind of locks in position. You can only put it in really one way here we go once we there this is the way that it goes all three holes are now lined up and what I'm gonna do is push up on this while I put all those three bolts in by hand I don't know if you can see this from this angle or not I'm just gonna kind of put my phone right here so I can work just give me a minute They're three five and a half millimeter bolts. Don't over tighten them. the three up there no now we want to make sure that it works and I see already that our blower motor is back working let's Check it through the different speeds just to make sure that the controller slash resistor is working good. Which it is. It works through all speeds, low, medium, and high. So yep, we have verified the repair. All I gotta do is put the lower cover back on and we are good to go.